John Haggins of Globe Plata. I'm here in Norfolk for the Wine Festival. There's so many people who've come from everywhere. I've met people even from Scotland. And the Carnival Cruise Line is in with its probably 1,800 people, which adds to the festivities. Lots of wine, lots of cheese, lots of great food. Seafood, we're right here on the coast. You can't have a better time. This is Norfolk. I use black and white, and I use color interchangeably sometimes. Other times it's more of accepting the purity of that black and white. When you see things in black and white values, you, are, you see what it is. You don't bring a lot of extra nuance to it the, that blue might bring emotionally or red might bring emotionally or yellow might bring emotionally. That black and white stands as it is and allows it to be pure in a sense that I can deal with it. The color, wow, the color allows me to dance. You know what I mean? The, the color is song and it's melody and it's rhythm and they all harmonize together like the primaries and the secondaries and the tertiaries and those color schemes and making trees red. Why not, right? It, it's the breath of life, you know? It's, it is the living versus being alive. That's what color does. When you interchange them all, you have the reality of the black and the white and the life of the color of being alive and living, not just being alive. So the color allows you to live. Allows you to sing. That's why I do it. Welcome to the Chrysler Museum of Art. Within these myriad walls, we can provide various essays in various media through various genres, a glimpse at about 5,000 years of art history. Our world renowned collections, thanks to our benefactor, Walter P. Chrysler Jr., include the areas of of course, paintings, sculpture, the decorative arts, uh, photography, and glass, world-renowned glass, going back to ancient times, and with the uh, uh, what's acknowledged to be the finest collection of Tiffany blown glass in the world. Our benefactor, Walter B. Chrysler Jr., the son of the automobile baron, um, began collecting Tiffany glass. Uh, as far back as the 1930s. He, as a youngster, had met the venerable Lewis Comfort Tiffany uh, when they had adjoining estates in Long Island. 